So I'm pretty sure the last you saw was this was in the goop. I got that cleaned up. Alright, that's the Z-Max or whatever pop metal I call it. Man, this guy is nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Intermission time, I guess. I don't know. But, man, look at that chrome. That's what it looked like on the website. Shiny chrome. Ah, loving that. All right, enough of that. Next. All right, so that's a uh, brass brush only on the Dremel. Feels very smooth. Not an even color because it's that Zymax or whatever I call it, pop metal. We're going to degrease this and put it in here. And do the water test to make sure the water just. Tsh. If not, <clears throat> if you don't degrease it right, the water's. If you see water beating up, you didn't do it right. Water has to like fall off. So, no grease at all. Next. So here is the water test. Now you can see where I'm going to have problems. See that drop of water? Let's zoom in so we're in the light. I've done this three times and those two drops still show up on the roof. And that guy still shows up there. Well, he's dripping off now, but that guy shows up there. I got a way to fix this. Let's see if it works, which I'm just going to dip it in the acid bath. No electricity. And then I'm going to go rinse it in the uh, distilled water. Now, I'm afraid I might contaminate the solution because of uh, that it hasn't hurt me in the past but I'm just thinking as the more I learn the more I know the less I know let's see what happens now give it the water test I mean, that's an acid bath. If anything's on there, it should come off. Still there. Well, let's go wash it off, see what happens. So, I'm going to go back to what I used to use. This is a uh, TSP, trisodium phosphate. It's a nice degreaser. And I'm going to use a clean cup because I used a dirty cup in the uh, distilled water. I wiped it out, made it clean, but I'm not sure what the hell is going on tonight. Be right back. Trisodium phosphate, TSP. So here it is, fresh out of this distilled water after the TSP. I don't see no water drops. Nothing hanging on. Nothing. So we're ready to go. Yep. Be right back. And put this in there all right I got the power plugged in yeah only been a couple seconds 
Since the voltage is so high, I need to uh, swirl, swirl, swirl. I need to swizzle stick this damn thing around. The best voltage is like half a volt and only one amp. This is five volts and two amps because it wants to go to whatever's closest to the giver. I don't know if it's anode or diode, uh, anode or whatever. And now you see the back is not getting enough because it's too high. Bottom's doing fine. We'll change that hook in a minute. I'll show you soon. Oh yeah, nice zinc. Uh oh, hook just fell off. Later. So we got that out, rinsed it off right away. Feels really smooth. Just need to buff that up. It's really smooth. It doesn't look that way, but man, that's really soft. We're going to buff that up and prep it for nickel. Uh, electroplating the same way I prep this with the uh, I'm just going to use the TSP trisodium phosphate and distilled water that's what I'm going to do oh look at that yeah yeah oh that came out good now that's what I'm worried about I don't want to contaminate my solution again but it won't plate to that, so <clears throat> it's not metallic, so I don't think it's going to matter. And no one's going to see it. But we're going to buff this up. We're going to do a brass wheel. This old one. Two old ones. I got to throw those away. And then we're going to use some uh, rubbing compound. Yeah. And then some flits. Alright. Alright. I think the battery is kind of low. So I may have to continue this tomorrow. Let me just buff it up like I just told you. And uh, we'll come back and see how that looks. No need to bother you with all that. Alright. So far, coming up pretty dang good. Alright. Oh, yeah. And here's, here's the body. Looking pretty good. You know what I could do also? I think, well, I could. I don't know. That looks pretty good. I could polish that, but I think it looks pretty good. So all this is going to go together pretty dang on good. Let me get back on the camera. Oh, nice gold rims. Oh, and this is going to be the ruby red. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not fitting right. Just the right body for this body. Yeah, it is. Look, now it's fitting right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, let's just let's just send it in as hey, primer gray. <laughs> yeah that's gonna come out great put this over there next we're gonna do nickel after I get this polished up <clears throat> after I get this polished up <clears throat> let me zoom out I'm so bad at filming dang it EP I know you do it for a, a living but dang it I have a lot to learn all right later guys So here it is, just a light brushing with a brass wheel and then soap and water. Now, what it needs next, 
for the finish I want is I'm going to use a hard cotton then I'm going to use a semi hard cotton wheel that gets into the crevices then after that I'm going to use a softer one and then I'm going to use a powder puff now this one works good also but it's just zinc I may skip this one and just go to this one we'll see but automotive rubbing compound it's really not necessary I mean it's good to paint right now that's not the finish I want I want the chrome you know as you saw in my last video because this guy is going to be not the blue it's going to be the ruby red Whoa. <laughs> ruby red so I'm going to buff this up see you later